All right, so this is the problem we're doing today, exercise 24.32. So you have a capacitor, it is parallel plates, it gives you this nice capacitance, gives you the separation, and asks you what is the maximum magnitude of charge if it does not go over this electric field. And then the second part, there is now a dielectric put in and it asks you for the same thing, maximum magnitude of charge, as long as the electric field does not go over it, that value. So let's see. So we have our CO, our capacitance of A.10 pika equal to, we want to convert this into just straight up ferret. this in meters because we want everything in the basic units. So now for A, we're going to look at a few of our equations. Because the only values we have is we have capacitance, we have a distance, and we uh, have the electric field value from the problem. So, and we're looking for charge. So we need a C, a Q, an E, and a D. So by putting these two equations together, we can find one equation that has the four variables that we need. And we can go ahead and plug in our values. And then we can solve maximum charge, which is equal to 267 about peak coulombs. So that would be our first part. Um, maximum magnitude of charge, which is Q in the electric field, as long as you don't go over this value, 3 times 10 to the fourth. So in the second part, they introduce the dielectric K. So we're going to need a new equation. We have C equals KCO, which we have a CO, and we have a K. Now, we have C equals C, which it's still asking for charge, so those are what we need. And we still, of course, have V equals E times D. So, so now that we have these three equations, we can go ahead and combine them into one, so we are finding Q, and we're going to use this one right here. We're going to replace the C with this to get K, C naught, and the V with the ED. So now we have one equation in the five variables we have, and we're charging for Q, so we don't even have to rearrange. Our K is 3.10. Our C value is 8.12. Our E value that they give us is 3 times 10 to the fourth. Our distance is 1.1 times 10 to the negative third. Just go ahead and type that into your calculator and you get 8.286 times 10 to the coulomb, 